Buddhist temple Kun San Pao Yul Chou Ling is located some 50 kilometers north of Washington, D.C. However, instead of peaceful silence, its visitors hear loud squawks and screeches. That's because the temple houses Garuda Aviary, a lifelong sanctuary for exotic parrots that have been neglected, abused and abandoned. Uh, we at Garuda Aviary specialize in taking in birds that are non, not adoptable. Uh, birds that are already become too difficult or too neurotic, maybe too aggressive uh, because of the kind of treatment they've uh, received in domestic environments. Sanctuary director Christopher Zioli says there are 53 parrots in the sanctuary, among them cockatoos, macaws and African greys. He knows the character, individual needs and habits of every single bird. A lot of them were pets before they arrived at the aviary and many had had a number of owners. We get anywhere from one to three requests every single week from people uh, asking, sometimes pleading to abandon their parrots to us. Uh, people buy parrots and it's, it's often an impulse purchase. Uh, when people bring home parrots, they, they tend to, at that point, find out how difficult they are to care for. However, Zioli has to refuse the majority of these requests since the aviary only takes birds that cannot be adopted to another family. Some parrots here suffer from severe PTSD. They try to injure themselves and have to wear protective vests. The sanctuary runs on donations and volunteers. Catherine's job is to cook food for the birds. I think it's an honor and a privilege to work here with these birds, to give back to them some love and affection that we cruelly took away from them in the past. Some parrots have been at the sanctuary for a very long time. Probably our oldest bird is Harry. He's a blue and gold macaw who, as far as we understand, was po illegally poached from the wild in 1969. Zioli emphasizes that adopting a parrot is a serious commitment. These birds live for 50 to 60 years and get very attached to their owners. They are smart and need constant attention. Parrots don't do very well when ignored or left alone for long periods of time. We try to educate uh, the public and let them know that parrots should really just be left in the wild and not be regarded as pets. It's not impossible, Zioli says, to form a long-lasting relationship with an exotic parrot. It just takes a lot of time, dedication and resources. Like any relationship that's based on affection, respect and above all things, love. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Pulseville, Maryland.